This podcast is for informational purposes only and is not an offer or solicitation of an offer to buy or sell securities. SNN Network and Maj Sway Don are not licensed brokers, broker dealers, market makers, investment bankers, investment advisors, analysts, or underwriters. We do not recommend any companies discussed. We may buy, sell, short, cover securities in any company mentioned and may profit in the event those securities rise in value if we are long and fall if we are short. We recommend you consult with a professional investment advisor, broker, or legal counsel before purchasing or selling any securities referenced in this podcast. Maj, you want to introduce our first pitch? Yeah, the Paul Andriola in Small Cap Discoveries, you know, multi-bagger expert with Expel. Uh, you're, you're to hopefully follow that up with another one for us and i can't wait to hear what he has to pitch to us so he's our first investor very good, very good. paul take it away hey thanks bobby thanks maj uh my name is paul andriola and uh today's uh, company that i'm going to pitch is a company called vitality products symbol is vpi.v vprf in the u.s and uh for disclosure i am a shareholder of the company Um, So Vitality Products company that I like to say is punching above its weight class. Um, It's an award-winning line of clean vitamins and supplements marketed to natural health retailers and health conscious uh, consumers. Uh, The company manufactures its products locally here in British Columbia, Canada, and currently sold uh, in 600 stores in Canada and online on Amazon. Uh, Following the proven success of the line through repeat orders and same store sales growth, the company is focused on expanding distribution and growing sales in store and online, evaluating, researching and developing new products for future distribution and exploring new markets for its products. Uh, Vitality operates in the health and wellness industry, uh, which of course is an extremely rapidly growing sector. Uh, the market size for vitamins and supplements is currently estimated at about one, uh, uh, sorry, $152 billion U.S. and is estimated to grow at a CAGR of 8.6% to $272 billion by 2028. And the U.S. alone is about $50 billion a year. Um, the company currently has 11 products on the market and sells them through the 600 retailers in Canada, including Whole Foods and Healthy Planet. Uh, The company also sells their products, like I mentioned earlier, through Amazon and their own website at vitality.ca. Their leading product is an award-winning iron supplement called Power Iron Plus. Uh, Just launched six months ago and already is over 50% of the company sales. Um, Now, according to the World Health Organization, iron deficiency is the top nutritional disorder in the world. And it's suggested that as many as 30% of the population have anemia due to prolonged iron deficiency. Uh, In the U.S., iron deficiency anemia is estimated to be an issue for between 2 and 5% of the female population. And so we believe it's vital for a company like Vitality to have a lead product that the company can build brand awareness around and leverage to help introduce new products. The company also has a total of 101 natural product numbers. This means 101 formulations, or in this case, 90 new additional products that have been approved by Health Canada. So the company has no shortage of new products to add to the current lineup. Uh, We believe the company is well positioned to be able to grow within the health and wellness sector. And that growth will be attained through expanding product offerings, new territories, including the largest U.S. market, new online initiatives, including Amazon, direct to consumer via its own website, and probably the most exciting in our opinion, a new subscription purchase uh, model. So vitamins and supplements offer a category for subscription as it is a regularly consumed product. Uh, The customer knows what they need to purchase, offers easy ability to offer new product offerings at point of purchase, and is small and lightweight for shipping. Um, Having established itself in the Canadian health and wellness market, the company is now well poised to invest in marketing. Um, The company is now properly funded to deploy traditional marketing programs. It's interesting to note that Vitality has grown approximately 500% in the last four years with almost zero marketing spend. Uh, It grew its revenues in 2019 by over $200,000 with with the measly $30,000 spent on marketing. Uh, Management, uh, the company's female run, which is an important point to consider as most supplement purchases are made by females and households. Uh, It's important to understand the decision-making process. Uh, Women are more likely than men to take supplements. Most notably, those over 50, where roughly 65% of women use uh, supplements versus 42.5% of men. Uh, So the CEO, Cheryl Grant, also has extensive brand building and marketing experience, having worked for TELUS and Best Buy in that role. 
and the management team has punched holes into retail shelves. Uh, and these relationships have been established with, with the retail leaders. So these relationships will help uh, when they're launching those new products into retail. So as far as revenues, the revenues are, are small but growing. The company generated 200, just over $200,000 in Q3, which was up 27% from the same period last year, and $600,000 for the first nine months. And currently the company has an annual run rate of about $800,000. But uh, it is interesting to note the online sales through Amazon and their online store grew by about 400% in 2020. And we believe this will continue to be a driver of accelerating revenue growth in the future. Uh, high gross margins, the company generates uh, roughly 72% uh, gross margins versus an industry average of 36%. And we think that the mix of high gross margins and revenue growth will have a dramatic impact on profit growth. Um, at 800K per year, uh, the company is near break even and uh, with a small loss in Q3 of about $45,000. Uh, the company need only grow by about 70,000 per quarter to reach uh, full break even. Um, the balance sheet is, uh, uh, is a bit deceiving because as of Q3, the company had about 2.3 million current liabilities versus only 1 million in current assets. However, 2.1 million of that 2.3 is uh, owed to the largest insiders, which were the family of the CEO and CFO at zero interest. Um, the balance sheet will, some, will be somewhat uh, strengthened uh, as there's a financing that's being closed right now for roughly a million dollars. So in our opinion, without that concern of the current liabilities, the new capital uh, is gonna be used for marketing inventory, uh, which has stifled their ability to grow in the past. Okay, so the company also owns a five acre investment property in Washington state, which is accounted for at cost, but is likely increased uh, significantly in value. And according to management may be considered um, for, for sale uh, at some point to bolster the cash position. Uh, Vitality has approximately 2.9 million in tax loss carry forwards, which, uh, which should help uh, shield future profits from income tax. So the closing price of roughly 28 cents, market cap is 10 million. With the recent financing, uh, market cap will be about 11.6 million. Uh, note that there will be also roughly 9 million warrants, uh, 25 cents, uh, which if exercise is gonna add about 2.3 million in cash. Um, and uh, ultimately, uh, uh, fully diluted shares outstanding is roughly 53 million. So in summary, uh, we believe Vitaly products offer uh, a strong risk reward opportunity for risk tolerant investors. Uh, the company is still small, but has uh, reasonably low market cap, has strengthened its balance sheet and raised cash, which will be used to accelerate its revenue growth. It has laid the groundwork for strong potential upside by having gained shelf space and leading uh, retailers across Canada and establish a strong brand and recognition in the industry. With high margin products and revenue growth, uh, we should see a strong impact on the bottom line. Uh, the company near profitability uh, would result in any excess cash flow uh, helping to increase further growth. So Vitality has several growth opportunities by expanding its product line at very low cost as many products are approved and ready to launch. We can expand geographically into the large US and international markets and the company can further grow its online sales through both Amazon and its online store. But perhaps the greatest opportunity we see for growth is the commencement of the subscription model where the company can capture and leverage a growing long-term revenue stream. So, so we view Vitality product shares as a compelling opportunity at current prices. The end. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Thanks, Bobby. This podcast is for informational purposes only and is not an offer or solicitation of an offer to buy or sell securities. SNN Network and Modest Way Don are not licensed brokers, broker dealers, market makers, investment bankers, investment advisors, analysts, or underwriters. We do not recommend any companies discussed. We may buy, sell, short, cover securities in any company mentioned and may profit in the event those securities rise in value if we are long and fall if we are short. We recommend you consult with a professional investment advisor, broker, or legal counsel before purchasing or selling any securities referenced in this podcast.